Hi guys. Well, it's nine o'clock in the evening. I've been home about half an hour. As I spent yesterday, Sunday the 10th, and today at Mum's. Um, hang on. That's better. Uh, so I haven't done much at all around the flat. Um, but I have been busy at Mum's. Yesterday I helped my stepdad in the workshop. He's been building a high nemo. <laughs> He's been building a um, sandblaster cabinet. He used a old sort of workshop metal shelf unit um, and uh, cut that. Uh, sort of shape and size he needed, screwed a load of uh, plywood around it for panelling, uh, cut a couple of hand holes in the front panel, uh, had the top panel open up with um, a couple of locks on it and a window cut into it, and about it. He made a reservoir in the bottom with plywood and sealed it all up so nothing leaked out. Uh, today he painted it and he put it in a position today and we've uh, been pretty much having a good old tidy up around the workshop. Uh, I put the light in for him and we used a uh, halogen damp lighter that's all we had, and it works, so if it works, use it. It's a 12 volt one, so with all the electrics that was sticking to the top of the uh, sandblaster cabinet, we um, made a little wooden box to cover the, the um, electrics up, so no one could touch them. But it's a removable box, so we can change the light bulb. And and service um, the light if we need to. Like uh, change the transformer if it ever burns out. I don't think it will because it's not going to be used often. But you never know. Uh, what else did we do? <sighs> Got Mum's printer sort of working. Not over the Wi Fi. It doesn't like the Wi Fi for some reason. It just seems like it won't communicate to the laptop through the Wi-Fi and I've adjusted the Wi-Fi settings I don't know how many times I've, you know, um, redone the Wi-Fi settings on the printer and made sure I typed it incorrectly um, printed out the report the report came back fine, as every as if everything was uh, functioning fine, and it still won't print. It'll print if you connect the laptop to the printer with a uh, USB cable. So uh, that's how they're going to have to use the printer from now on, until I might find the reason why. I think it's the router itself. I don't think the printer likes the router because the laptop works through the router fine through Wi-Fi to get to um, connect to the internet, so, and the laptop will connect to the printer and print fine through a USB cable, so it must be the printer not liking the router for some reason. I don't know, it was working, but it's, it usually fails when um, the electric goes out or you use the copy or print, uh, not copy or print, copy or scan features on it because it's an all-in-one and then for some reason it'll stop communicating with the laptop so it's an Epson 2 and Epson has never been one of my favourite brands Hang on. I'm going to move my glass otherwise Nemo will get his cat hair in it I don't like drinking cat hair uh, this weekend we're going to be doing a couple of car boot sales locally um, I'm going to um, go with Mum to keep company because my stepdad would get bored 
sitting around all day for hours on end. He's he's always got to be doing something. He's like me. I can get I can sit around if I'm in the mood, but if I'm sitting around, I've still got to be doing something. So if I'm sitting at this desk, I've got to be I don't know using the computer, using the camera like I am now, or tinkering with something, playing a game on the computer. You know, I've got to keep busy. I can't just sit there doing absolutely nothing. I suppose that's one thing me and my stepdad do have in common. You know, we, neither of us like doing nothing. Uh, so I'm going to go with Mum. I'll probably go for a wander every now and again. As, uh, no doubt I'll want to buy something from the car boot as well. I found old PCs at the car boots before going for pennies. Actually, there's three I bought last year, and I can't remember what I paid for all three. I think it was only a few quid each, or something stupid, just because the stall holder didn't want to take them back home. They're the sort of stalls you need to go to at car boots, because you can get some real good bargains there, because people want on those sorts of stalls want a little bit of cash but they don't want to take the things home either so they will have things priced up at ridiculous cheap prices uh, I think me and my mum will probably be doing that sort of thing because I don't want to bring anything home I take I haven't got a lot and I don't think I'd get a lot of my stuff in the car anyway uh, my stepdad sorted a bunch of stuff out from the workshop to go. Mum will have her stuff. And I've got that blue toolbox in the bedroom. I'm going to empty the crap out of that. Because the stuff that's currently in it isn't worth taking to the car room. Although I could take those two cordless drills and probably sell them for a while because they work. You know, they're good enough to use as a power screwdriver or something. Um, I will make sure I charge them up before I go so they, people know they do work. But I'm not trying to sell them something that is not going to charge when they get at home sort of thing. Because I'm not like that. If they didn't work, I'd have took them apart. <laughs> as simple as. That's the sort of person I am. If something breaks and it's electrical, I take it apart before I put it in the bin. Um... Got some toy cars through there that can probably go. They might sell, or I may actually go through them and pick out the ones I think would sell because I've got some collectible models, including some behind me actually. I could take uh, that I haven't put on eBay. You know, I could take the Weetabix truck. Uh, um, the Corgi pickup truck, that didn't sell. The BMW model in the plastic case, the CQ model, I could take that. I could probably take the um, game controller as well, actually. Uh, what else? I don't know if I'll take any of the computer stuff. It just depends what I can get in the uh, blue box through here. Let's uh, get a light on the subject, shall we? And I've got. Well, actually, I can't remember what cars down there and what I'd to sell and what I didn't, so I'm going to have to go through them. But none of those ones over there are what to sell, apart from the two big Mustangs. Uh, I could go through that as well. Those boots I can take, because I don't wear them. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, really think of anything else. Might be a few other trinkets I could take. If I could persuade myself to sell one of those laptops, I could take one of those. Down there. Because uh, they're still worth at least sort of 10, 15, 20 quid each. Because they work and I can provide a, an adapter with them. But I'm not sure I want to sell them yet. Got to sort them out. Uh, 
And I doubt I could find something in the cupboard out on the landing as well that I could throw in there. Or maybe something that's in there. If I could guarantee there was going to be room in the car, I'd have taken the top box and sold that. Because I don't need it. It's just being used as a thing to store stuff in at the moment. Got anything in here I can see? Not straight off the bat, no. Um, I'm going to take one of those soldering irons out to Mum's because my stepdad needs another one with a point. Oh, that one hasn't got a point, so it's no good anyway, so I suppose I could sell one of them. <laughs> he needs one with a point. Um, no, they're all bike bits. I can't sell those because I need them. I want the CRT monitor. Uh, no, there's absolutely jack shit in here, really. And keep those two cordless drills. There's two in the um, blue toolbox. I'll sell those ones. That's it. Mind yourself, Nemo. There's a good boy. Uh, she looks like I haven't got a lot to take, so I might just be there just to keep Mum company and wander around myself. Ow, just doing something. Um, Wireless keyboard and mouse set I could take if I could guarantee it worked. I should try it and clean it. Uh, no, there's no Lego. That's probably one of the few things I absolutely can't part with. Last time, like, yeah, there, I'll start again with that. Last year when we did a car boot, I took a load of um, old bicycle lights, like the old Ever Readies and whatnot, and most of those did sell, but I don't think I've got any left, to be honest. I might, I'll have a look at my box under the bed. Um, but I haven't checked eBay yet, but I don't think that box set has sold, so I might take those, or I might keep them, I don't know. <laughs> No, there isn't really a lot. Oh, I could take that computer scanner. Because I don't need that. Because uh, my um, printer's an all in one, so. There's another item I can take. I've got the discs for it, so. There we go. I'm sure I can find a cubby hole in the car to put that. Uh, the only thing I want to do tonight, so I haven't got to piss around doing it tomorrow. Because uh, I've got a project bike to do tomorrow. Uh, I've obtained a old manky folding bike, which only had the front wheel. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a BMX rear wheel in it, so that would make it single speed. And I'm going to put knobbly tyres on it, mountain bike tyres on it. Uh, obviously put brakes on it put a shopping rack on it, and I've got a set of chrome BMX handlebars I was going to throw on it as well, and BMX stunt pegs, just for the heck of it. I've got some black paint left, I was going to use that up and give it a fresh coat, a quick fresh coat of paint, because someone had done a paint job on it, but I don't know what paint they used, but it was crap, so I'm just going to give it a quick going over with the black paint I've got. Uh... I'm not really fussed about the paint job quality myself because, like I said, I'm only doing it for a bit of fun. Um, that might get done tomorrow. It depends what else I've got to do because I've got to pack these up and get those ready. I have to go and get another roll of bloody bin liners because I pulled them all off to see if I had enough and I only had four, which would have been enough for two frames. I would have needed another four, so I went and got a roll of bin liners because I needed some anyway. Uh, I've got those forks. Um, I've got a book of those out as well, but I 
don't know whether to do those via Royal Mail or via a courier. It would be cheaper by a carrier, I think. And that's what I was going to do that one as. That box. So it's got the PS1 in it. Uh, although I was going to weigh the PS1 and see uh, what category it comes under. Because physical size, that comes under small parcel, just. But it depends what the weight is, because if it's over 2 kilograms, and that doesn't. alone for five minutes. Right, um, yeah, looking around, I don't think I've got a lot to take to a car boot myself. Put all those rolls of bubble wrap, I don't think I need them now, but I can use them in the future anyway. But, I could have saved myself a couple of quid there, never mind. Oh look, there's a bin liner here I could have used, and I will still use it. Um, I was talking to my youngest brother today about these servers and all the computer gear I've got and he seems to think that'd be a, a nice idea to get one running as a private server, storage server, which uh, wouldn't be hard to do really, would it? I if I've got any DVDs or anything I don't want. Or any old phones or anything like that. I don't think I have any more. <laughs> I think I've sold out most of the stuff. Uh, I've got to get all that computer gear sorted yet. Because uh, I want to put the lad's computer that he bought over there with all the other stuff that well I was going to scrap if I didn't sell it but he might be interested in it so that can go over there if there's anything specific he's after I might be able to help him I don't think computer parts would sell out a car boot I know there's a guy that usually does it but his stall always seems quiet Mind you, his prices are quite expensive for second-hand computer parts. I can get half the stuff he sells cheaper on eBay. But, uh, each to the run. You know, there might be people out there willing to spend that on it, but I personally aren't, so I don't. <laughs> uh, Well, there's web cameras down there, I'm not sure what to do with them. See, again, I'm not sure if that would actually be something anyone would want on a car boot. Or if that would be just a pointless thing to take. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't even remember what's in this toolbox, to be honest. I might even have something down in the shed. But, uh, I've got till Friday to have a hunt around anyway. I'm sure I can find something. I've got two MP4 players, so I suppose I can find one of them. Uh, got two Mega Drive consoles, but I'd like to keep at least one for a spare. At least for the time being, unless I change my mind. looking around to see if I can see anything. But, uh, nope. Might take that old truck, you know, put that in with the cars. A young lad might come along and want to, to play with. You never know, you never know it. It's, just, it's a bit like eBay, you put things up on eBay and you don't know who's looking. It could be anyone looking. Oh dear. No, I've got 
got nothing up here that's worth taking. Oddly enough, that road lamp there I got for a pound at a car boot sale last year. It's surprising what you do uh, find. Uh. Oh, while I'm looking at eBay, I've put a bid on this. The four port KVM switching cables and the two cables. So, uh, it'll be great when I get that. I was bidding on some laptop memory, but, um, the seller took that down for some reason. It does annoy me when sellers do that, especially when you've bid on it, but, mm, nothing you can do. It's just, it was, uh, 50 modules of DDR RAM, with a starting bid of, uh, 99p, so... Maybe someone messaged him and come along with a decent officer. He took it down. I don't know. So uh, I do hope no one does the same thing with these because I do want that KVM switch because that will be put into use on this cabinet, which uh, can be my next subject to talk about. Uh, I'm going to get that KVM switch or a KVM switch at some point if I lose this one uh, and I'm going to set up four computers in total on here because it is a four port switch uh, I haven't decided what computers I'm going to set up here yet uh, the Sony is going to stay there because it is my main XP machine which is why I've actually decided to get rid of the one in the kitchen, which I'll take apart in a bit. Uh, as there's plenty of room on the desktop itself, I was going to put the Dell Optiplex GX60 on, on there. Um, I was also thinking of one of the Dells up there. I could even, if the compact was working. Well, that does work, but I'll have to reinstall Windows and whatnot on it. And I want a smaller hard drive for it as well. So, for a computer to demonstrate, you know, part of my collection working out there, I don't really want a 500 gigabyte drive on it. That would be much more better use in my main machine as a storage drive. So, that's what I'm going to do with that. So, uh... I haven't actually got a lot to choose from, have I? I could put the Windows 2000 out there. And the Windows Millennium. Uh, and what I was thinking of doing with the KVM switch, the two-port one I've got in the lounge, is uh, when I get both servers up and run, I want to get that one running first. Ah, that'll bring me on to the next subject as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. I was probably going to use a KVM switch on these, so I could set them up side by side there, and just switch between the two to keep an eye on them. If I needed the extra storage space. Because uh, it just depends how many friends and family, of course, that are going to want to use the system. And who's willing to donate. Anyway... As you will see from the video I recently uploaded before this one, uh, changing the motherboard in this was a complete fail because it died right after I'd finished installing everything. I've got the motherboard here. I have put another motherboard in it and it does work perfectly fine now. But uh, here's the old motherboard and what it was doing, it was turning it on. I could turn it on, the fan would spin up. And then a couple of seconds later, it just shut off. Sometimes it would be a second later, you know, or a split second later. Um, and it was actually getting worse and worse and worse. Uh, I don't think you, the camera's going to pick it up. But uh, there's a capacitor right here. Well, one, it's got a bulged top. And two, there's some yellow showing on the top. So something's leaked out. 
So that's a good sign this one has actually popped. Um, and then I came along, and there's all these same branded caps along here. And most of them, actually, that one, 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 and that one have all got bulged tops. So they might work, be working capacitors, you know, it's not guaranteed that they are dead. Unless, of course, they're bulged and leaking, not the one over here. But uh, they are definitely suspect. So, I was going to keep this board by the capacitors and replace them. If anything, just for a bit of practice, replace some capacitors. I might as well do it on a board like this that isn't, you know, worth anything, because it's, you know, it's only a QDI brand, it's not a top branded motherboard that people would be trying to get their hands on so I figured I might as well practice doing things like that on this old that on this old motherboard rather than something I would prefer to save. Um all these sort of bluey black capacitors they're all fine. It's all these green ones that have done it. Each and every one don't no, they have all done it. So if I was going to do it, I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I actually counted thirteen last night, but I must have uh, miscounted. <laughs> uh, anyway, the Windows Millennium PC does work, ish. <laughs> I'll demonstrate why ish. I'll turn it on. Turn that on. I just turned the socket on in here and the computer in the lounge went doo doo. Indicating that something had been disconnected from a USB port. Um, the motherboard I use is an older MicroStar MSI motherboard. Pink. Um, if I could find a screwdriver in here, I'd have quickly drop the side panel off to show you. Um, still got the 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, I didn't bother with the, looking for the um, board drivers because I think this board's a bit too new for Windows ME anyway. So, besides, I just put these expansion cards back in anyway because these are already installed on the operating system so all I did was change the motherboard really use the same GeForce video cards same sound card which is just a generic bog standard off the shelf cheap I think I've bought that a few years ago actually for something and the same with the Ethernet card I didn't need to find the drivers for the Ethernet card though the machine put, um, installed that fine I just got to remember my password. See, audio works. Boots up. Boots up fine, actually. What it doesn't do is shut down properly. It does surf the net. I did put, a, well, the newest version of Firefox on here I could. Obviously, the new new Firefox doesn't support Windows Millennium, which is an arse. I do wish they kept up support, because it would make life a lot easier. But, uh, internet does work. Some sites this computer is really slow at loading, and I think it is probably just the operating system not liking them. Because a lot of modern sites are full of Java, and Facebook was the worst that I tried really slow at um, loading. Yeah, if I click on Firefox that should come up online. Uh, start new session. See, it's not bad for internet speed. Yeah, no, I'll risk it. I don't care. It's only a demonstration computer. <laughs> it's only got to work or do something. It hasn't got to be spectacular.
But uh, technically, if you're just a per, you know, someone that literally just needed something to check your emails on, or to store some information on for a business, you could still use computers like this. You don't really need a super duper high tech modern one. Although it does help. <laughs> and I'm still using the old rollerball uh, trekker mouse. The ball does stick on this sometimes, but apart from that, it does move pretty damn well for a rollerball. Uh, I've even found some of the internet games on this still work. I was playing checkers with someone the other day. Couldn't believe it. The old internet games work. I'll give you just a quick demo. No, where is it? Internet checkers. Play. Looking for another beginner. There we go. See? Comes up. See? <laughs> oh well, I've started, so I suppose I should finish this one guy. I'll get my ass beaten because I'm crap at this. See, I've got myself jumped already. But the only problem isn't doing so, he's now left himself open for me to jump him. Or her, whoever. <laughs> there, I'm going to click resign. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let them win. But the issue, it's only a small issue, it's not really an issue really. So it just means every time I turn it on, that um, scan disk is going to come up. I'll shut down. I don't know why restart is up there. It shouldn't be up there. Shut down. Okay. And it will do this. Now, if I walked away and left this for half an hour, it would still be sitting on this screen. don't know why. That's just what it does. <laughs> so I end up having to press the button, which is why it does scan disk every time I turn it on. So it is being the sort of typicals window, typical Windows ME that I remember it as when I first used one. Um, but still, it technically does work. It's I could tinker with it if I get bored, which is pretty much the reason I built it. Because it was different, you know. I've done Windows 98 computers, I've done Windows 2000. I've done Windows XP computers till the cows come home, so I could probably install Windows XP with my eyes shut and hands tight behind my back. <laughs> so I thought I'd go for the in the middle of Windows 98 and 2000 and uh, do a Windows ME. There we go. Video has just stopped and started again. Oh, lovely room temperature coke. Because when I went out today, I forgot to put the bottle in the bloody fridge. Oh, oh! I was watching a video today, and um, he had a Dell desktop open in this video. I can't remember who the video was by. But um, he was just talking about three computers, three filthy traded in computers. He'd obviously um, he'd done a job for someone and they traded in the computers as part of the as payment for part of the cost of doing the job. Um, and I noticed inside this Dell, I don't know if it was a 4600 or an 1100 or a 2400 or what, but it was something. It was along those lines. Cause I had these um, hard drive caddies in the front. What I didn't know is with these is I don't know if I can stand one up. You know, they go in the case that way. If the front of the case was here where my where my uh, thumb is, they'd go that way. What I didn't know is that you can get another one and link it on top of the existing one like that. I didn't know that. So I was going to throw these out, but I thought, hmm, I could keep them, because if I decide to do any upgrades to the Dell, at least I've got the, um, you know, the hard drive caddies there to be able to do it. 
But uh, I didn't actually know you could do that until I saw it done in this uh, Dell computer on YouTube. So I went and rescued those out of my scrap bin on the landing. Uh, speaking of scrap, my scrap man should be coming either Friday or Saturday. But the problem is I'm not going to be in. Well, weather permitting, I'm not going to be in. If it's pissing down with rain, we're not going to be doing the car boots, are we? Uh, so, the weather's permitting, I'll obviously be out. Uh, possibly Sunday as well. So it may not be till Monday, actually. But either way, it's going to get collected soon. And uh, we'll give them some more dosh for the computers as well. Because he doesn't actually live in town, he lives miles away, but he visits his parents down here. He stays down this way, because he's self-employed, so he stays down this way for a few days with his parents, and uh, does a bit of work, and then goes back home and do some more work, and then come back down about a week later, <laughs> and so on. Feedback has snuck up again. 571 now. Eee. Yep, all positive. Because I'm such a good eBay. Well, until I unexpected, une unexpectedly get behind with the postage. Thanks to F ups with the bloody printers. Well, I knew mine was out of ink, but I uh, couldn't get to Mum's to print them off. And uh, on top of that, hers was playing up anyway. So uh, even though I gave a memory card to Mum to print my labels off with, uh, her printer wasn't working anyway, so she couldn't. And uh, I couldn't get over to fix it, so I had to reschedule. Unfortunately, so they are due to go Wednesday. I'm still waiting on a parcel myself, which according to eBay is estimated tomorrow, but it is only estimated. But that's coming via My Hermes as well. So, I don't know if the local My Hermes courier is actually going to keep them and drop them off when he picks up the parcels from here, which is actually perfectly understandable. I don't mind that, you know. Why make more trips than you have to? I'm not in any hurry for the laptops anyway, because I can't even remember what I bought them for in the first place. I've completely forgot. I knew I'd saw them, I knew they were cheap, and I thought, yeah, they'll do for this task, and now I can't remember what the task was. I wonder if I could put Windows 95 on one. Ooh, I could try. We've got Windows 95 disk. <laughs> Depends on the specs. But, uh, I'm really not enjoying what room temperature coke. Yeah. prefer ice cold drinks, but uh, that's my fault for not putting it in the fridge. Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, I've got that bag of rubbish to go down. I'll have to do that tomorrow. Can't do that tonight. I don't think my neighbours would appreciate me banging around at the bins at this time of night. Uh, I haven't done much with my Lego, so I haven't done anything on that channel. I need to uh, pull my finger out and do some Lego videos, I think. I didn't think it would be this tricky to manage two channels, but mind you, I do get probably a penny per video from Google AdSense on this channel. It doesn't really make it worth me making the videos, but I have fun in doing that anyway, so I enjoy picking the camera up and randomly talking about shit and doing random things, so... Google AdSense. 
I started it a couple of years ago and Fifty-five pounds and sixty-two pence, and it's taken me two years to get that. So, for those of you who think you can make money off YouTube, seriously, unless you're exceptionally popular, and have like thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers, which I don't, last look I've got seventy-one. In fact, I can just double-check that. Oh, I've got 75 now, so it is, it's gradually cr um, crept up, so welcome to my new subscribers. Uh, my LEGO channel's got 58, that's slowly creeping up, although I haven't got anything monetized on that channel. I do think that was fair as I was, you know, talking about LEGO, which is a mainstream product. But uh, everything I do on my channel is mine. Which is why you don't hear any music. Because um, I like to work with the radio, but I know if the bloody YouTube sensor thingy picks up on music, it'll uh, flash up with all that copyright crap. It's a bit sad, really, that you can't have fun like that. Because, to me, getting that strict on copyright is just taking the fun out of doing things because I do believe that would actually come under fair use but never mind oh. well I think that's about it I don't think there's anything else left on my list to talk about I think I've mentioned just about everything Actually, we've been in here for almost ten minutes, actually. It's eight minutes. Nine minutes. It's just clicked over nine minutes. So we'll go back in here. Look. Still flashing. Still on. <laughs> oh, well. It's only a minor thing, you know. I'm not too worried about it. Well, I found a use for the old case anyway. That can go up on my wardrobe for the time being because I don't have a KVM switch to use yet. Besides, there's too much crap down there to put it in that place anyway. If I decide to put it in place. Ideally, what I would like is some older computers to put in there. Ooh. Now my batteries are just suddenly dying, bloody hell. Yeah, they're definitely not lasting as long as they used to. I could get over an hour out of them before. I haven't even been filming this for an hour. Forty minutes, actually. Wow. May need to invest in some new batteries soon. Right, so I suppose I better shut the camera down and get on with something. You know clear that white case out of the way down there and stack those optiplexes down there. So I've got the one in the kitchen that can be put on there because I don't want both. Um, well I might as well put them down there because I don't know what this lad that's coming is interested in. So I might as well just pile up everything I don't mind getting rid of and let him pick if there's anything that takes his fancy. There might not be anything that takes his fancy. Who knows? No, I don't know what he wants and what he doesn't want, so I might as well just make a pile there, as I said, and he can take what he wants. Are you kidding me? I was looking for my rubber keyboard and it's laying on there. Fucking dickhead. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot I'd stuck it on there. Oh well. Got a box of floppy drives in there as well. Um, a Jay on Blue Planet 64. He, um, I watched a video of his today, and he got a floppy disk drive in the post. If I'd known, I could have sent him one. Because I've got a box full through there. <laughs> well, 
I think that's probably even one that came off a of 4600 or a similar machine so I could have literally I could have sent him one <coughs> for nothing because I've got a box full so it's <laughs> literally through there which I'm, I'm pretty certain I've shown on one of my videos before actually I'm going to need that box out later, so... No idea how many are in there, or if they all work, but, uh... They don't get used a lot, so... Chances are they do work. And obviously before I sent one out, I'd check it. I wouldn't just send one out. <coughs> Whew! I don't know why, but when I've got the camera on, I just want to talk and talk and talk and talk, and I can't do that because the battery's about to fucking die. <laughs> Literally, I've got no colours up on the battery gauges at all now. Oh, red's come back. No, red's disappeared again. Right, so I'm going to end the video before it ends itself. Because the green LED is flashing like hell at me as well. It's telling me, your battery's dead. Turn the camera off, you idiot. Right. Camera's going off, so I'm going to say good night and thank you for watching. And as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't, then hit the dislike button. It's entirely up to you. And uh, until the next video.